Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card for Newton's Zig Designs and we are using one of the brand new August release items. This is called Potum Newton, like kind of like a play on autumn with the word paw. So sweet. It's a three by uh, four stamp set, smaller one, but there are coordinating dies that you can purchase if you prefer dies. But um, makes it so nice. I didn't know that usually smaller stamp sets don't have the dice, so I really appreciate that Newton's Nook um, has the smaller dice with the smaller sets. Makes things a little bit easier, and the price point is better too. <laughs> so let's get to stamping. Um, today's card's going to be pretty clean and simple. There's a large image of a, a fall floral arrangement, and then Newton's kind of peeking behind it, um, and then there's he's kind of peeking behind a pumpkin too, along with a little bird. So sweet. There's also another smaller pumpkin in the stamp set. There's two leaves, and we're gonna stamp the largest of the two, which I'm gonna call a pecan leaf. Um, don't quote me, I know what a maple leaf looks like, but um, I'm calling this a pecan leaf, only because I have a cookie cutter that's about the same shape, and whenever I make my pecan pies, I put um, pecan pie crust um, made with a pecan leaf cookie cutter around the edge of my pies. And so <laughs> that's why I'm calling it a pecan leaf. But there's also a little bitty uh, acorn, and we're going to stamp that as well. We're going to make a nice fall card today. There's a sentiment in the stamp set. This is Happy Potum, so that's what we're going to use. I stamped with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. We're going to stamp three in total of those little pecan leaves, and then I'm also going to um, restamp that pumpkin. It looks like I got a little bit of heavy-handed on that. Um, Originally I was going to use zig markers, that's why I brought out my clear embossing powder and used my VersaFine ink, but um, I changed my mind. I thought we would go for, um, instead of, uh, sometimes zig markers can get real bright, I wanted to go for a little bit more of a subdued color, so I think I can control that with my Copic markers. So that's what we're going to use to color in our images today. There I stamped the pumpkin, and then we're also going to stamp one more of those little cute little acorns. I'm going to cover my panel here with my clear embossing powder. It's going to stick to that VersaFine ink, and then I'll use my heat gun and melt the embossing powder. Well, I did leave the coloring in. Um, I'm going to play a little music while I color, and then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Thank you. 
Okay, coloring is just about done. I'm just finishing up the leaves here. We're gonna color in the um, little pine needles too, just to add a little shading behind them, just so they, we have a little extra greenery. But those are images, super cute. I'm gonna take the dies. I just used my nippers and separated them. We're gonna die cut out all of our images. And then um, you can see it's about a three inch, maybe a little less than three inches. Um, that's how big the image is. So it's gonna make a great focal point on my card. Once everything is die cut, we're gonna zoom back out. I'm gonna scoot everything aside and we're gonna work on our background. Super simple background. All I'm doing is gonna bring in a panel that I die cut out with the frames and flags die set. I use the, large, um, the largest die in that set. It has a scalloped border and then also has stitch detail. So that's where we're gonna stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna use my image as a guide on where to stamp our sentiment. This says Happy Potum, so cute. I'm gonna bring in um, some brown ink to stamp my sentiment and I'm lifting it up because I wanted to put a bow right behind, um, right below um, Newton and also the sentiment. This is Memento Rich Cocoa ink. I'm gonna add it to my sentiment and I have a piece of lint on here. I'm gonna wipe that off real quick and then add a little bit more ink. We are going to stamp our sentiment right next to Newton who's peeking. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> I love him. Looks like he um, wants to be friends with that little birdie there. <laughs> okay, sentiment looks great. We are gonna remove our panel and then I'm gonna bring in some um, yellow and white gingham ribbon. Um, I was gonna just wrap it around the scallop edge and thought it'd be nice if I um, left the scallop edge and went along the stitch detail with my craft knife and added little slits. This way we can kind of thread our ribbon through there, um, leaving the, the scalloped edge intact. I'm just gonna use my craft knife and kind of thread my ribbon through the top piece here. And then make sure my threads, that, or my, my calling it thread, but it's ribbon. <laughs> but I'm making sure that my ribbon is not twisted, kind of laying it flat. And then we'll tuck the other end, the right side, through the slit. You just wanna make sure that, I used the grid lines on my mat to make sure that it was nice and even. Okay, we're gonna tie a bow all the way to the left. And after we have our bow tied, we're gonna make sure Newton fits there good. I wasn't sure if I needed to lower it a little bit, but I think that's gonna look great. We're gonna add foam adhesive behind our, our Newton here. And then we'll add him just above our, our ribbon. Kind of, the ribbon is kind of actually grounding him, which is what I wanted. We're gonna add our little pumpkin. The pumpkin's actually gonna be layered on top of the ribbon, so I think we better tie our bow first here. <laughs> and you can see the scalloped edge just continues around. Now, if I put ribbon on the outside edge, you wouldn't see that scallop there, so I think it looks really pretty. Just fluff up that bow here. We are gonna trim off the tails of our bow. And I think the softness of that yellow gingham ribbon, I just think was enough. I didn't want to add too much. We'll just lift this up so it goes over the top of the ribbon. We're gonna flip this panel over. Before we go any further, add this to our card base. We're gonna add um, a little bit of dimension by using some foam tape. My mat's kind of slip sliding. <laughs> Gotta straighten that up. But um, we'll remove the release paper and add this to a standard A2 size card base. And you can see it leaves a little bit of a white border this is like the perfect panel size, and I'm loving that. Okay, after we have this adhered, we'll add our little little pumpkin just above the um, the ribbon there, and then we're the uh, I was gonna call them maple leaves, but the pecan leaves are perfect size to add a small foam square behind. So we'll pop these up. I want them to kind of give the feel that they're flowing in uh, the a fall breeze, which fall is was just. Monday, I think, was the official day of fall. I love fall. I don't know about you guys. Um, I love the colors of the changing leaves. Well, here in Kansas, you can really see the fall leaves. Um, I mean, golden colors and oranges and, and rust colors and greens. It's just gorgeous. I really love it. Um, we have a huge tree outside of our new house now. and. Um, and looks like we need to invest in some rakes because they're coming down. <laughs> okay, there's a little acorns right below our smaller pumpkin there. I'm happy with that. 
And then for finishing touches, I'm not doing much. All I'm gonna do is add a little bit of glistening. We are gonna use some Ranger Stickles. This is the color Glisten. And um, it has some real warm tones in here and I think we'll just edge the leaves along with the center of our um, sunflowers and then the tops of our acorns. And I just think that looks super cute. Love the little Newton. And I don't know if you guys have no, follow, us, follow Newton's Nook Designs on um, Instagram, but they always show some fabulous little kitties on there. They have two new additions to their family. I encourage you guys to check them out. But have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you soon.